you look at Knoxville, you look at Chattanooga, you look at the thriving downtowns that we all want our downtowns to resemble, they all have a component of people living downtown, and we have zero, zero downtown units. Murfreesboro is one of the fastest growing cities in the country. And so people want to be here and people want to live downtown where it's walkable. And that's what Murfreesboro is becoming. We talk about it often. We're the luckiest restaurant in the world. To be able to be in the heart and the center of their downtown square, which is such a beautiful area. I mean, you have got the courthouse right next door. You've got these beautiful buildings that form the square. You knew that the city was likely going to get behind projects that were going to draw people to their downtown. And so I was excited to be able to have a spot here downtown and really grow with the city. I certainly have an affinity for the heart of downtown. I grew up two blocks away from this building and walking with my parents and my neighbors to come to story time here in this building when it was the library. Being able to watch the arc of downtown really grow. I think that as a people, and as a culture, we are longing for community and Murfreesboro does community really well. The very fact that families can live, work, play, shop, dine, all within the same neighborhood, it's gonna be a better place for people that live here, but also a better place for those that visit us. The daylighting of the creek, the bridge over Church Street is going to connect to so many other opportunities. And this specific project is going to make this an even better neighborhood. You know, here are these buildings that the city cherishes. It's back to problem solving. How do you create a design of a building that's gonna do well for the city 50 years from now? How's it going to incubate other projects? How's it going to inform other projects as they develop along the corridor? So it's kind of the catalyst, really a gateway project into the center of town. Murfreesboro's kind of at a precipice. As people decide to come in and develop the downtown and with apartments and condos, that's just going to bring opportunity for our small businesses to have more people walking around and have exposure and to extend our downtown over to where the Greenway connects through all of Murfreesboro. It just makes our downtown more walkable, bikeable, and more green. The idea of more residents coming to this area, I think it's fantastic because we want to serve our community. We want to serve our neighbors. It feeds into what we want to be. Growth for us here in Middle Tennessee is inevitable. We can help shape it together as a community while respecting our history, valuing our history, and truly having a vision about who we want to be. And I think projects like this are instrumental in helping make the changes for our community. I think we're a special community because it feels like a small town even though we are growing rapidly. Murfreesboro makes people feel like it's their home. And I think that that is what is special and unique about it. You don't have to be from here for this to feel like home.